Hello, I'm Dan Colon. I'd like to introduce you to the most unique and revolutionary new technology in the fire and security industry. NetTalent has created the first virtual incident command system in the world. It is network enabled and can be viewed from anywhere on the planet, even on remote wireless PCs located in responding vehicles. Now, first responders can access useful real-time data about the status of a developing emergency. Based on many years of interactions with hundreds of first responders, this technology will change the way we respond to fire and security emergencies and make the world a safer place. Today's police and fire departments respond to an alarm with little or no information about the emergency. Effective mitigation depends on early warning, notification, and information about the emergency, which first responders often do not have. They arrive after the perpetrators have left the scene or the incident has escalated into a more serious emergency. Their lack of knowledge about the situation inside the building impedes their ability to mitigate. To meet the first responders' need for information about the emergency as soon as possible, NetTalon offers virtual command technology through its System 3000. NetTalon is the only system in the world that gives police and fire the ability to have virtual command. And virtual command is the ability to see that fire or see that emergency develop en route as they travel to the scene. They're able to understand the fire's location, fire's movement, and make decisions today they can't make until they're on the fire ground, in the building, and after they do a recon. You're just buying a huge amount of time and be able to see that fire in the building remotely. No other system in the world can do that. The same is true of police. To have police units inbound, being able to locate and track the perpetrators, whether they're on two floors or one floor, whether they split up, is unheard of today. So our value is, again, speed and information to the first responders. NetTalent brings technology to the fire ground that's never been seen before. The information that we receive from NetTalent's technology gives us a chance to look exactly where the fire is, which way it's moving, if we have any type of rescues or victims that need to be rescued, and be able to deploy the manpower safely and efficiently. The advantage of the NetTalon Virtual Command System is that it allows you to gather information, get to the scene of the fire with a plethora of intelligence, and you can make rescues and not recoveries in a lot of cases. Uh, it also allows you to deploy your resources in a more efficient manner. What I see happening is it's going to decrease the amount of property damage uh, that buildings sustain. It's going to decrease the amount of victims that are lost in a fire environment because of how expedient the rescue process is going to become now with this system. So it's a force multiplier, definitely. With the Net Talent system, you end up with all the questions asked before you even arrive. You get the location of the fire, the temperature of the fire, the size of the fire, where it's going, what exposures, uh, and in some cases, what victims might be trapped. The Nest Talent system is a much better way than the conventional way of fighting fire because you have the information the time you're leading off the station instead of when you're arriving on the scene. You have the fire, the room, if you have victims or not. So when you get off the truck, you already know your game plan. I see this technology as, as, as one that's almost going to become a necessity. I think the insurance industry is going to pick up on this and they're going to say, if you want this level of insurance at this rate, you have to have this system, just like fire sprinkler systems and the, the former addressable fire alarm systems. This takes it the next step. And I think that's important that we continue with our technology because it's all about protecting people. I'm interested in protecting my buildings, but I definitely never want a loss of life due to a fire or emergency situation in our facilities. And this provides that level of assurance to me, the legislature, and the governor of this state, and I think that's most important. If we can't prevent the fire from happening in the beginning, which is what we want to do, the next thing we want to do is we want to detect it early. Uh, and conventional alarm systems do that. They let you know that there's a fire in the building, but a lot of times it's not until the fire becomes out of control that it actually alarms and the fire departments can respond. No human intervention in this at all, which is great. I think it'll reduce some false alarms that we perhaps respond to. Today when we get an emergency call, we have to 
send everything, respond with everything, and hope for the best. And I think what this technology is going to do is it's going to change the way we can respond more appropriately with this real-time information. Uh, and in the end, we did send the best. I think the next step is to you know, get the industry involved, get people educated on what it's going to do. So I'm excited. As the state fire marshal for the state of Louisiana, I first saw this system in Washington, D.C. Uh, while attending the National Association of State Fire Marshals and saw the product marketed with a number of competitive products and by far the system is much more sophisticated to the point where where most other systems are going through their cycles of, of alarming and notification and that talent systems primarily got their solution resolved while others are getting the first notice. Now, it's not just the everyday savings in insurance or taxes but it's really the value that talent provides in protecting that facility against any possible incident that would cause you to lose that operation, whether it's a fire or a break-in, whether it's a robbery with, with one of your employees shot, or whether it's your inventory stolen. Net Talon, with that building network to police, really provides a level of safety for that building owner they've never had before. So their operations are protected, they have, they have lower insurance rates, and they have the best possible police and fire response. That's going to bring, bring businesses into a city. We have emergency on the second floor. Is there anything else? How many suspects? Only one suspect visible. You don't have to wonder anymore. We know that there's an intrusion. You are formulating your plan as you're moving toward it, so the reaction time is decreasing. And once you get to the building, you know where to go. You know where the intruder is. You, you probably already have a description of him because the video has probably picked him up. But if the video didn't, the motion sensors and the, and the screen and the format that which we will, we will be working from will lead you directly to the person that you're looking for. So an incredible piece of uh, technology. It's very, very innovative technology. It uh, allows us to see inside the building, to see uh, where the suspect is, where the suspect has been. Real-time cameras, you can pull it up, you can get physical description, you can get a clothing description, you actually see the suspect so you know what you're looking for. And as a team leader, if you have to go in, if you, you'll, you'll know where to go. Adds an element of safety to the entire team. In today's scenario, we were able to track the suspect and could see that he was moving towards the stairwell, so we were able to have our unit ready uh, at the stairwell at the exit. We basically let him come to us at that point, made sure our perimeter was secure, and uh, just tracking through the building and until we saw that he was coming out. The response time is uh, cut down dramatically, I think. Just having the information come straight to you in your car, in your laptop, uh, you're, you're cutting down several minutes from it going to an alarm company and going through our headquarters and then coming to the cars. You're saving a lot of time that way. So for us to respond and uh, get here quickly, we're able to get here before the suspect leaves the building. You're not relying as much on relayed information from headquarters. Like today's scenario, we were able to have many monitored systems. We had one of our districts who was monitoring on a hard line there. Our, our headquarters was giving us information and as well as our each unit had a computer. And in, in being wireless, you can even step outside your car if there was a situation where we needed to go in the building. I take the laptop with me and look at the laptop. If the suspect moves while we're moving, I'll know about it. Definitely adds a big safety factor to the team, knowing where the suspect is, being able to position your team accordingly. The value of Net Talon is its ability to save lives in an emergency. People that are trapped in a fire or security emergency, they have only moments or minutes to live and their ability to be rescued is dependent upon how fast the police and fire are notified and the information they have about the emergency. Net Talent provides that speed and provides the information that allows firefighters or police to get to the incident quicker, understand what's happening, and make the penetration into the building to mitigate the emergency. Thanks again for viewing our presentation of the Net Talent System 3000. This system will dramatically improve the safety of our first responders and change the face of fire and security systems forever.